guys. I decided that I want to make a trip home this weekend. I'm leaving in like 45 minutes. It's actually Friday, but since I don't have class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get to leave on Friday and I can stay until Monday if I wanted to. I haven't decided when I'm going back yet, but that's the plan. My car needs an oil change. I need to take a package back home and I just want to see my family and spend some time at home. I feel like I need like a reset. Also, there's not a whole lot going on this weekend. Basically, all the guys are in rush week right now, so it's kind of like there's things to do, but like also not really. So I thought this would be a good weekend to go home. I definitely have not packed everything yet. I like can't decide what I want to pack for clothes. I went ahead and washed all my athletic clothes last night because I knew that I would probably just want to pack a lot of athletic stuff. So that's the comfiest stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all my stuff away before. So I don't have this rack out the whole entire weekend while I'm gone. Don't think my roommate would like that. Literally last video I was doing my laundry too. But literally look at all this. There's always so much to do, it's insane. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take some of this stuff. Just cause it's comfy and I know that I'll wear it. Also if I work out, guys I literally just like can't build an outfit right now. I don't know what to bring. packing so horribly right now. I literally don't know what to pack. I have all the stuff to like get myself ready, just not outfits really. But like I also don't really need many outfits. So I'm like, I'm gonna make a load to my car and take the package I need to take back. And then probably a bag. Yeah, this is stuff to get ready, but also just some random stuff I wanna take home as well. All right, here it is you guys. This is the secret. This is all my secrets coming out right now. I'm going to tell you how I make the literal best storm coffee ever. So here it is. First we have to start with a nice cup. I use these plastic cups because when I go to class, I just like to take it, be able to throw it away so I don't have to carry around a cup all day. So I got these off of Amazon, they're on my storefront. Same with literally everything besides the syrup. I think this one is 16 ounces. I put this down and then I pick what coffee syrup I want for today. So the ones that we have right now are pumpkin, cream caramel, and vanilla salt. So what I like to do is mix the vanilla salt and cream caramel together because then it's like an upgraded seven brew blondie, if you guys know what that is. These two syrup flavors are so good. I get them on the Tarani website. I do three pumps of that if I'm doing a double shot. And I've been doing two pumps of vanilla and then one pump of caramel because I just like that balance better and then i grab my espresso the espresso that i've been using are these pete's espresso pods we don't have any fancy espresso machine the machine that we have the brand is instant i think i don't know it has a spot for keurig cups but also espresso ah are you serious right now this is the first one and then i do two ounces Next one. I've literally perfected this because I used to do the ice first, but that's what makes it watery. Next is milk of choice. There's like zero milk left in this. And I just like to mark it with my hand, but I like to do, it's about here. There's like only a little bit left. Just finish off and buy more. I think the little like ending secret ingredient is just adding a tiny bit of this for some extra sweetness. I used to not do this, but ever since I did this when I was back at home for winter break, I haven't gone back. So this is the Coffee Mate Zero Sugar Italian Sweet Cream. And I literally just use the tiniest bit. Cause if you do too much, it gets too sweet fast. I have not been good about making ice here, so I'm just gonna go get ice from downstairs. I also think the ice from downstairs makes the coffee look like I bought it somewhere because it's like, you'll just see. I'm all about the final presentation here. I waited for the first drink <laughs> until I got here. It's literally so good. You guys have to try it. Seriously. All right, I think I have pretty much everything 
And if not, I have a lot of like extras of things at home and also my sister. So actually right now I'm going to Chicken Finger Friday at the sorority house with a couple of my friends. So that'll be lunch and then I'll be on my way. Chicken Finger Friday is seriously like the best thing to look forward to on Fridays and it's just awesome. And sometimes we'll have like guest Chicken Finger Friday. It's just so fun. But yeah, I am not really packing a whole lot to take home really. Back. Do you just want to take over? Yeah. Hey vlog! I've made it another four years. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've been featured college edition. Just way too long! Ashlyn's bed, <laughs> taken over by Anna Hamlin. You Say hi to Anna. Oh, Anna Hamlin College is. Edition. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm just gonna give you a little rundown of my day. Woke up and we said it's go time. It's my favorite day of the week, which is Chicken Finger Friday. Basically, that's just like a whole lot of goodness at the Zeta house. And it's just basically sacred at this point. Ashlyn testing the door. Okay, yeah. I'm going to my two classes. I would skip, but I can't because I have a written assignment and I'm trying to do better this semester on not skipping classes I don't need to skip. Facts, yo. Facts, yo. Yeah, and then I'm going home too because I'm going to a concert tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, you. So I'm really excited. TGIF. TGIF. Tamila, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Just TGIF. Hey guys, so we're at Chicken Finger Friday. <laughs> it was so good today. Well, I told myself I'm not going to skip class, at least skip. But then I was talking to my friends and um, I'm skipping. Let me tell you about Chicken Finger Friday. I graded a 12 out of 10. It's beautiful. I got salad because I felt bad about myself. The vegetables are rocking. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> My battery is a phone. So, so I was like, oh, I'm also pull. What's your guys' favorite vegetable? Like, Three, what two, is one, bell peppers. Carrots. Yeah. Or cucumbers. Whatever, whatever. But and that tells me a lot about you. My camera died. No, you cannot tell me carrots are your favorite vegetable. Yes, I can. Happy Friday, I love you. Okay, good. Happy Friday. Hey guys, I don't usually look like this, I swear. <laughs> But it's a beautiful to day hair. today. Do you see that? It's so beautiful. The sun is shining. And did you know that Zeta's CFF? I mean, what about Zeta's CFF? It has um, cane sauce, baby. True so nurse can eat complete her thought. <laughs> so we just ate our meal. And again, just to recap with you guys, I am skipping Spanish. And my favorite vegetable is still a carrot. And that's disgusting. We just had a good conversation that Camila brought up in the back and she was like, um, how do you guys wave? So Ashlyn's more of like a jab. She's like, when she sees <laughs> you guys, or when she just sees everyone, she's like, ah. and like Camila's more of like a, like a, and I feel like I'm just like more of like a, you know? So I just thought so that was interesting. Comment down below share. what type of wave you guys are, <laughs> because it will say a lot about you. you. Mm -hmm. Like you could do like a little like this or like a little mm -hmm. or like a this or like a, But I'm just never like, like a shaking my hand like no that like almost hurts my wrist like right. it's like you're doing too much But like this it's like giving queen you can do this oh You can do like that <laughs> We thought about all the different types Ashlyn's like jab it's just like it could come for you <laughs> for sure <laughs> like, woo! But that's just how it's gonna be you know for sure definitely Ashlyn's just one of a kind really oh. so is this one Camila, what do you have to say back there? <laughs> I know you're just wilding in thoughts right now. Camila did really good on the phone. You yes, only did yes. I got really nervous. I'm camera shy. I just got gas and now I'm hitting my usual spot before I go home. Crumble. I always like to come here before I go home because it's always like something fun to bring back. Let's check it out. I got chocolate caramel, milk chocolate chip, chocolate covered strawberry, and cheesecake. I'm just gonna wait until I get home to try them. You guys know what day I cannot wait for? March 3rd. <laughs> Why? Because Morgan Wallen's album comes out March 3rd, and I literally cannot wait. The way that there's like 36 songs on it, I'm like, I like that he's been releasing some every once in a while, and I already know the words to all of them. Also, I'm going to his concert in July, and I cannot be more excited. Me and my friend Paige have pit tickets, which will be so much fun. Don't worry. Daddy's home. Made it. And now it's time to eat some crumble. I really showed me on the trampoline with his friend. Let me see if I can get him to come. So my brother is not even excited to see me. He doesn't want to come. And his friend doesn't like crumble. L. But I'll try them. First up, chocolate caramel. Oh, wow. Uh. Mm hmm That one's very good. Next is chocolate covered strawberry. I didn't think I would like that, but I like it a lot. Cheesecake. Mm. They're all good. Oh. 
Skylar finally wants to try them. <laughs> Your face is freezing. I know. I don't know. Okay, which one are you going to try first? Cheesecake. Eight and a half. Eight and a half? Do you, you like it? <laughs> the strawberry icing would be good on the cheesecake. Eight. It's pretty good. I can't find Look at all this caramel on one side. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I read it. I go right to the chocolate chip. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh, this had cheese skin. Okay, this is God Edward Toy. We already know who that is. And then this is Michael Hardman. So, Join on my phone and my computer. Is it on portrait mode right now? Literally just arrived at my house like 30 minutes ago. Curled my hair. Already changed what I was wearing because I did not like the outfit I was wearing. Now I'm going to service my car because it needs an oil change. Something else about being home is that you get to make all these fun drinks and get to raid everything. So I just made a matcha because there was matcha on the counter. I don't remember the last time I drank a matcha. I don't even like matcha, I didn't think, but I just made a really good one. And I just needed a little pick-me-up because I had a coffee early. It's a matcha with oat milk and vanilla, and then I put honey around the cup. So it's very delicious, actually. I remember the last time I was like, wow, this matcha is good, but this one is good. I think I'm maturing. Me and my mom and my sister are going to get dinner tonight. I'm excited.